All right, so this is the final answer. Here you can see there are the three options for the copy and there are three options of photographs that we can use. And we can basically copy and paste these ones on um, the journey. So let me run that real quick and we can see what we get out of All it. All right, you're gonna really love this one. This is a crew of AI agents that is designed to do one thing and that is help me create amazing Instagram posts or Instagram ads for any product out there. And the coolest thing about it is that it's run entirely on open source models locally using Oyama. For this one, we're gonna be using Open Hermes 2.5, amazing model, and it's gonna actually be two crews working together. So let's dive in real quick. So the main file is pretty straightforward. We import the tasks and we import the agents. I'm gonna show you that code in a second. And then we basically ask the user for two things. What is the product website and what is the product details or anything that might help inform creating this Instagram post. From that point on, Two crews kick off. The first one has a product analyst, a strategy planner, and a creative agent. And together, they're gonna do a full analysis on the product, on its competitors, and they're gonna come up with a copy. What is the actual text that you want to go in the Instagram post? After that, another crew kicks in, now with a senior photographer and a chief creative director. Those two are gonna work together on creating great images that can go with that copy so that you can actually make the post. So you can get whatever it describes to you, generate that in mid journey, and then you can post it online. All right, let me show you the agents real quick. So this is what the agents look like. The first one is the lead market analyst. It has a goal, it has a backstory. Same thing for the strategy planner, creative content, senior photographer, and the chief creative director. It's all pretty straightforward. They basically are able to scrape and summarize websites, search the internet, search Instagram, and I think that's basically it. Those are the three tools that they actually, they actually need. Uh, and for the tasks, Pretty detailed tasks explaining exactly what I want from each one of those agents. Uh, being clear about what I want the final report to be or the final answer to be, and even giving like some examples around what the image description should look like, what the photo description should look like. All right, so why don't I just run it and I show you how it works. Uh, all right, so let me go into here and I can run it. And then it's gonna ask me for like the product website. For us to try this out, I wanna use um, Curio. I don't know if you heard about them. They are launching like this very cool, like uh, teddy bears or fleshy toys that have AI embedded on it by using LLMs. So I want to create an ad for that, specifically for Gabo. So I can say that this is the website. And then I have something that I wrote about Gabo that basically describes that it's a robot toy and yada, yada, yada. So I'm going to paste it there. All right, I'm going to let it run and I'm going to bring you along. So stay tuned. I'm going to cut off for the interesting parts. One thing I want to highlight real quick is, again, all this is using Oyama and OpenRMS 2.5. It's pretty straightforward. You can basically just import LangChain's LLMs Oyama, and then you can set what model you want, and you can pass that to any of the agents. So theoretically, you could have each agent run off a different LLM if you really want to, but in this case, everything is running through OpenRMS using Oyama. All right, so this is pretty cool. You can see here that it decided to scrape the website content, so it learned everything about Gabo, then decided to search the internet to get more information around it, and created a final understand what the, what the product actually is. Then the lead market analyst kicks in again, but this time to do a competitor analysis. So it first searched the internet for top competitors, trying to find like what, what else is out there. It learns about it. It's pretty, it's pretty cool. Decides to scrape one of those results that it found, and again, now it's understanding what actually are the competitors for Gabo. All right, so this is pretty cool. Now the chief marketing strategist is actually trying to come up with a strategy for this post. And you can see that it's searched for marketing strategy for educational toys, kind of like trying to get an angle there. Uh, it's pretty cool. All right, so this you can see, the first crew give us three options of a copy. Unleash your child's creativity with Gabo, say goodbye to screen time and hello to the real wordplay. The other ones discover the magic of Gabo where imagination meets reality. Say bye-bye to digital restrictions. Nice. The third one is join the Gabo revolution for words where kids can connect with each other and nature. So, so cool. You can see that it definitely went through an angle there of digital distractions or not having too much screen time. What is very much something that parents are concerned about. So I think like it got that on point. All right, so this is the final answer. Here you can see there are the three options for the copy and there are three options of photographs that we can use. And we can basically copy and paste these ones on um, the journey. So let me run that real quick and we can see what we get out of it. All right, so we just got the results back. So this is the first one. I don't really like it because those are not gabble. So I don't want to post like another toy. Uh, then we got this one, and I feel like, okay, like this, this sounds good. This third one here sounds like good. But then the third prompt to return first, and I think you could 
you could rock this one. Either like the fourth one or the first one. All like our images that you could post. So uh, yeah, so there you have it. That's how you would use Great AI to build a group of agents that can help you do better Instagram posts. And again, this is zero cost because it's all running in local models, so you don't have to worry about it. Um, if you want to know more, follow me up on Twitter, and I'm going to keep sharing things around AI agents. And check Query AI on GitHub. And uh, that's it. i catch you online.